Hi, I'm Manny Veloso. I'm the lead instructor for the Lean and Six Sigma programs at DVIRC. My background is uh, engineering, and I've got over 23 years of experience now working in the sector in all aspects of, of manufacturing organizations. If you think about lean as eliminating waste, then really what Six Sigma does is it tries to eliminate variation. Variation comes from all sorts of causes. We find that a lot of people um, will do things different ways. Different machines, different assembly lines, different operators will have different results from day to day to day. And one of the things that we're trying to do is to understand what it is about those situations that contributes to that variation. And what we train people to do is to be able to recognize this stuff, to understand it, and then to be able to come up with countermeasures to eliminate these sources of variation so that we get a consistent result. We've got a variety of different simulations. We're not always doing the same thing. Um, sometimes we're evaluating the properties of M&Ms, uh, peanut M&Ms specifically, to see what makes for a good M&M and can people consistently agree on which ones are good and which ones aren't. We also will illustrate the different factors associated with uh, launching projectiles through the air. And uh, that's actually a very popular uh, simulation that we have utilizing catapults. And that's great because you can teach so many different things. The effects of people, the effects of different types of balls, uh, the technique that's used. It, it, it's pretty simple and yet it really goes to show how there is a lot of variation. We're pretty proud of the, the DVIRC Six Sigma program. It consists of 10 days of training, and we do that two days at a time, separated by roughly three weeks. The program is set up so that somebody with some basic computer skills coming off the shop floor is gonna be successful. The way Manny set the course up, it's, it's basically layman's terms. Uh, you don't have to be an engineer, you don't have to be a you know, QC uh, manager. You can come in and be able to grasp the, te the techniques and apply them. As part of the training, people have Excel-based software that's theirs to keep after the training. Students, of course, are working on training projects as they're going through the course. So that way they're really utilizing the, the learn and do methodology that, that we really like. Uh, it helps reinforce the learning for the students. It also provides a return on investment for the company that's sending them to the training. We're so proud of what we have and what we offer and, and we really think a, a great program that it's basically a no risk guarantee. Okay, um, If you're doing a project and you're struggling to, to find even the, the return on investment to, to pay for the, the course fees, well DVRC Master Black Belt will come out and work with that project and that green belt to make sure that they can at least break even on the project. It's an easy guarantee that we offer because we've never had to make good on it. The project that we did uh, already has a return of uh, 18000 just for that particular project. And the project is a model, and it, it's a model that's going to be applied to uh, uh, eight machines, so you can do the math, $144,000 easily. Our forecasted return on investment through our Six Sigma Green Belt program is about $300,000 of annual savings. Many times the, the project savings are in the six figures, at least hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, largest project that I've seen recently was several million dollars of capacity created in a pharmaceutical environment. The project report out is roughly a month after the last training day. Now, all along, as they're going through the, the class, what they're doing is they're building their final presentation. Right from the first day, we talk about what that final report out should look like. And really, it's, it's, it's nothing too elaborate, but what it is, it's a training record. Uh, basically, every step along the way, they're, they're documenting the things that they've done and learned as, as a result of that. Typically, we'll do the report outs here at the DVIRC takes a half day and uh, we encourage the leadership team, certainly the project sponsors, um, team members, we encourage them all to come and it's really a public celebration of, of what the students have accomplished.